All right, so today I really want to um, put some emphasis on the 50-yard uh, pass. Hopefully I could find some good ones. Uh, I don't know why this thing is so squished. There we go, much better. <clears throat> so, just, I don't know this is going to be a nice reversal right here. All right, and so just a little bit more. Just do three. It looks like it might be a fake out. But I really want to show you guys some of these uh, 50 yard passes. I think that they're the most effective um, entry points that you could possibly do. Let's see if I can. This might be one. And the reason why I, I really prefer um, 50 yard is because you're literally trading with the trend, but you're still relying on reversals. So. It's like the best of both worlds. Um, let's see if I can find one. This is not even... This is a winner right here. But it really wasn't even worth me doing that. Oh, wait, all of them are like in sync or something right now. It's weird. Let's get rid of some of these. <clears throat> really want to find a nice 50-yard um, pass I could show you all. Before I get off of here, all right. This is this is as close as it's probably going to get to getting a uh, a fifty yarder right now. But I notice I have such good win rates when it comes to those. It's insane. All right. I have a few tabs open that I'm winning too. I'll go back to them in a second. This isn't really a fifty yard pass. I have to find some. And then maybe I'll go live after I get some. Eh, you can consider this kind of one. A little bit, you know. Let me just check here. For anything above. It's funny, I keep reverting to um, OTC. I'm, I'm, I'm winning a lot. with. The oh, this is a 50-yard pass. Perfect. Okay. I'll show you all. Just give me a second. <clears throat> yeah, it's a nice 50 yard pass right here. There's a lot of good ones that I'm doing, but they're not what I'm trying to show you. Like this one right here, I'm winning. And this one I'm winning. Okay, good. Winning this one, good. <sighs> payouts are really crap too right now. What's going on? It's was it noon on a Tuesday? You think that the payouts would be a lot better? What exactly is going on right now? Winning this one. Let me see if I can find some more. Doing two minute trades, right? All right, good. All right, I have one win coming through in a couple of seconds. I think it like shows up right there or something like that. Something like that. Why is it not showing? That's weird. Yep, this is a 50-yard pass right here. I'll do another another entry here. Just time this out. This is a good one. I've noticed with the OTC markets are looking a lot better on me today, which is really weird. Um, so I try to avoid the OTC, which means off the clock. I've had so many wins with... Um, New Zealand, Japan. Another one. I, I don't know why. It's weird. Uh, this one's coming through. I'm about to win this one. That was a really obvious one. I mean, come on. <clears throat> and this right here is a 50-yard pass. 
And when it reverses at the 50, it's a 50-yard pass. And I'm telling you, 50-yard pass is so accurate because you're, you're, you're relying on reversals, but it's reversals that are still going with the trend. And I notice you're way less likely to get faked out. But the even cooler thing is if you say you do get faked out at the 50, when it gets back below the Keltner, you could still do a reversal there, which is just insane. So let's say you let's say you do it here, right? And then you see you get faked out, and it just keeps going. You can just do another entry point right there, or double up your entry point. You know it's more likely to keep the trend going alive. Really fun stuff, really awesome stuff. I'm telling you this, that right there has just that right there alone has just changed my win loss rate. All right, so I got this going. I'll try to find some more. Let's see how much time is left. Oh, I got twenty seconds left. I know when I talk, when I explain stuff, sometimes I have to stop doing entry points just because I have to explain things. Um, but yeah, that 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 just like makes the win record just insane. All right, we got four seconds left, and I won this one. All right, let me see if I can find some more. And that was it. That was the fifty R pass. This is another one too, but for a fifty percent payout, it's not worth my time. Um, let me see if I can find some more. Uh, this is a nice 50-yard pass, but the problem is I um, I didn't get to enter. I missed my entry point. It's all good, though. There are millions of opportunities to enter. All right, I'm getting hella text messages right now. Um, let me see. I'm going to be off of here soon so I can reply to everybody. A lot of people asking about the about the signals, man. If you're ready in the if you're ready in the binary options training, you already have signals. You already have you already have access to it. No, but again, with the signals, don't be an idiot. Like, don't say, "Oh, this guy's doing a signal. Let me bet a hundred percent of my account," and then come complaining to me. Oh, I bet a hundred percent of my account for one of your signals, and I blew my whole account. I don't want to do it anymore. Like, people literally do that. They literally will bet 100% of their balance on one of my things and then complain to me. Like, I'm not betting 100% of my balance. I never do. If I don't, why the hell are you doing it? Make that make sense. Well, anyway, um, let me see if I can find some good ones. I had a, a really long session yesterday. Oh, this is a good one. Problem with this one is it's not going to reverse that long. It's This is an uptrend starting. I could tell. By the crossovers getting higher and higher, I could enter, but my ch my uh, my entry point's gonna be very limited. <sighs> I don't even know if I. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. But for that ninety percent, man, I probably do a one minute trade. No, it's not worth it. When you do this thing long enough, you know which ones are worth it and which ones aren't. All right, this is a nice one right here. I just wait a little bit. Alright, <clears throat> looking good. 75%. It's not ideal. It's not my favorite thing to do. But, you know, I knew it was going to reverse, so I took it. As you can see. Eventually, this will become second nature, man. I'm telling you. And I'm not relying on bots or signals or any of that stuff. I, I personally, personally, I don't like doing it. I personally don't like relying on them. But if some people like doing it, so hey, why not? You get the option. It is what it is. <clears throat> I love the volatility here. Nice. It's getting ready to reverse up, and when it does reverse up, it's gonna. Sh it's not just gonna be like a little baby reversal. It's literally gonna like. I'm, I'm. I'm predicting one huge green candle. You'll see. See. Eventually, when you do this stuff long enough, it just becomes so second nature. I'm about to win five thousand dollars in one trade. Insane. But you know, because I've been doing this for. Oh, sorry. F yeah, fifty-two hundred in one trade. That's some people's mortgages, man. It's crazy. In one trade? Didn't I tell you I predicted one big green candle? 
Now I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not I'm not going back into the past. I really know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is crazy. Didn't I? I literally called it one huge green candle. <laughs> I knew it, man. Hype, fuck hype. It's all about the skill, man. Skill sets is what's paying my bills, man. Skill sets are why I'm able to live in a in, in a neighborhood where the homes go a million uh, between uh, eight hundred thousand to a, to two million. That's how. Not because I'm hyped, not because I joined a bunch of MLMs, because I actually studied this shit and learned it. That's how you do it. All right, I got 20 seconds left. It's going to be a big, um, it's going to be a, like a long wick. It's got to shoot back up. Yep, two minute trades. If you want to, if, if the market's kind of slow and it's not as volatile, and you want a little bit more insurance, you can do three-minute trades. I just like to get in, get out. I don't do one-minute trades anymore too much because um, they tend to, it's just too, I don't know, I just don't like them as much, but you can do those too. My biggest day I ever had, I did one-minute trades. When I, went, when I grew my account from 500 to 2,500, like percentage-wise, that was my biggest, my biggest day, my biggest growth day ever. I was doing one-minute trades. I remember that day, we went to the beach, uh, and then we saw, like, uh, this kid, he was, like, looking for seashells with his mom. His mom was, like, yelling at him so he didn't get sucked away or whatever. It's about to be a good reversal here, but I do have a feeling that it's just going to... All signs are pointing to this one doing, like, a big red candle down here, and then you would enter. Like, just, the price action is just telling me that even though... I don't know... If I see like a longer wick, I'll do it. But so far, so good, man. I'm I'm done trading. I don't, I don't need to do anything else for the rest of the day. I'm done. Like, that's it. So, I don't want this video to be too long because I noticed my shorter videos do better. People actually watch the shorter ones. Uh, the other video I had that only was five minutes long, a five minute long live I did. Yeah, I told you it's going to be a nice long red candle and then it's going to reverse because uh, the price action was showing me that. So, the magic is really, you know, looking at the price action. Shit, man. <laughs> I know. I, I know. It's like, that's crazy. Dang. Wow. Oof. Great work, though, man. You know, if you did it once, you can do it again. That's the cool thing about this. Like, um, I always tell uh, Morgan because she grew her account from, I think she said it was 50 and she grew it. She had $50 and then she grew it to 750 And I'm like, if you did it once, you could do it again. But there was a time I used to do like the Martingale strategy, like when I first started, like in the spring. So what that means is like, say I, I, I do a trade, right? And I, and I win a trade and I win a couple trades and then I get a trade I lost. And then what I would do is I would double my bet with the next one. Um, like I would, so I would, if I say I did like a $20 trade, like I say my account's at 200, right? And I do a $20 trade. I like to do 10% of my balance. And let's say I lost it. My next trade, I would do $40, and hopefully I win. But I stopped doing that because, you know, a lot of times, because it only would take us, like, a couple trades, and you blow your whole account, so. So I don't really do that too much. You got to be really careful with that stuff. Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to continue going down. Everything was telling me that that, that was what that was going to do. I've seen this play out too many times. This is, like, five months ago, I would have entered here thinking it was going to do up. Yeah, 10%. I do it, but it's. I really tell people that like when they're doing it, they should do like 2 to 5%. You know, because that's just the way it is. Like, I've had instances, like like I said, with the copy trades, I had a day that I made $2,000, right? But at the beginning of the day, I lost, I think it was $70. I lost $70 and I made, you know, $2,000 $2, overall that day. Because I was betting, um, what was I doing, like, again, 10%, you know, $100 trades or whatever. And, you know, to me, I lost a small amount. I, I lost $70. But people are putting in, they'll put $100 into their account. And then they're like, oh, copy trades. I'm just going to copy 100% of what he does. So I did a $70 trade. Let's say I lose a $70 trade. Someone has 100 bucks in their account. Now their account's down to 30 and now they're looking at me all upset. They're like, oh, but risk management. I'm like, I'm doing proper risk management. I have a $1,000 account, and I'm trading $70. $70 is nothing to a $1,000 account. And I always tell people to always trade, like, in proportion to me, no more than 10% of what I trade. 
People don't listen to me and then they start crying. So that's why I stopped doing the copy trades because people don't listen. I, I could tell people what to do, but you know, and then it's a lot of stress because I don't mind losing a little bit of money, but when other people lose money or they blow their accounts because they want to bet a hundred percent because for some reason they think I'm a, a wizard or a magician and I could just magically make everyone, you know, just copy me a hundred percent every time. No, like it's crazy, but you know, but I put those disclaimers there all the time. People don't listen and just not worth it. I did eight months of copy trades, eight months. Most people would charge monthly for them. I did eight, eight months of free technically copy trades. So I don't want to hear it, but you know, the signals are different because the signals, you can place whatever you want. So, you know, you don't have to, people think they have to do 100%. This looks like a good 50-yard pass coming up. I see there's a little healthy distance. Um, but, yeah, 90% um, eh, OTC, um, I might do it. We'll see. Um, like four seconds left in this candle. Eh, why not? I'll try it. And if for some reason it's not a 50 and it just goes back down here, I'll just do another entry. Uh, but everything's pointing to it being a 50-yard pass right there. But yeah. So that was really stressful. But I noticed, like, my, and plus my win rate is just way better when I'm just, I'm just worrying only about my own risk management. It's way, my win rate card is way better. Yeah, that OTC, yeah, I'm telling you, I, I don't like doing it too much because, you know, the brokers can manipulate OTC because that's them. That, I, that's them. That's not the live market. I don't really trust OTC, but, you know, for the sake of demonstration and videos, you know, this is technically kind of a 50-yard pass. It didn't really reverse at the 50, but all signs were pointing to this being a start of a really nice uptrend. Um, so, you know, all, all, the, all, the, all the stars were aligning, if you will, so... Yeah. But the funny thing is, like, after, like, I was getting screamed at about losing $70, I ended up making $2,000 by the end of the day. So it was just like, you know, if you did the proper risk management, your account could have been up. But people don't want to do that. They just want a magic pill to get rich. It's insane. And there's no such thing. If I were to lie to people and say, just do this, you'll get rich over... My following would be a lot bigger than it is, trust me. Because there are people with bigger followings than me. They always say, do this, you're going to get rich. 800% um, increase overnight, no work. And those people have big followings, and then they go from one thing to another, and another, and another, and another, and then, they, and then you know, eventually people start losing faith in them because, you know, it's like, okay, it doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. There it is. Yeah, that, that Burax and all these other things. Like people hit me up on all kinds of shit. Like, oh, um, join this. Um, you know these things. We're predicting these coins. You know, and eh. people was asking me about crypto. I like crypto. It's, it, you can predict the winners, but the problem with crypto is the gas fees and all that stuff. So you're not just even accounting the cost of buying a, a token or whatever. You also take an account of how much you're going to end up paying in gas fees. And that can get to you. But yeah, man. Like I said, I respect everybody. Everybody has their own hustle. But, you know, I'm not really into the, you know, hype. Because that hype stuff doesn't last, man. I, I was, I was, I did all the, I did every MLM imaginable. And I even did Forex MLMs. And then, like, you know, I got kicked out of IML because... I focus more on trading and I was actually showing that trade, you could actually make money trading. Um, I didn't really promote the, you know, the MLM part of it. Cause to be honest, the MLM part, you're not really making any damn money in there. And then they wanted me to delete all my winnings from Shopify, everything about what I, my whole journey, just wanted me to erase it. And I'm like, you want me to bring in a hundred people to make a raggedy 600 a month. I make 600 an hour some days. Get the hell out of here. It's not worth it to me. You know, I'd rather keep my whole journey up here, you know, and I do. Again, I always document everything from the beginning, man. I document little tiny things, little tiny, like even when I'm starting a, a Shopify store, look at these metrics here and there before I even make a single sale. 
Those posts get zero likes, zero comments, zero shares. No one cares. As soon as I post a nice screenshot of, then all of a sudden everybody wants to be in my inbox asking how I did it. When I actually, I, I low key, I, I I spill some sauce live for free all the time, just like this. I'm sharing how I'm doing this live. People aren't going to watch this, but then they're going to want to hit me up. Man, how you make so much money in binary options when you could literally watch my live videos? And even if you technically don't get my train, my train's gonna be more nuanced than this. But you could look at some of these videos and kind of see the way I move. But, you know, like this is about to be a nice reversal right here. A nice fat reversal, too. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm done for the day. I, I mean, I did all these live trades, man. I'm done. Good stuff. Um, very exciting stuff, man. I love binary options. It's one of those things where, like, people always ask me, drop shipping, binary options, which one do you like? I think this is what I, this is what I think. I think if you're starting out, Start with a drop shipping store. Make sure you have a nice viral product. Start with that. And then you can take the money that you make from drop shipping and invest that into binary options. That way you can make a $10,000 account, do 5% of your account, $500 trades. You can pretty much grow your account as long as you study it well. You know, and then you can grow your account because the money you can make in binary options. And by the way, this works with Forex. The same strategy I'm using right here, it works for Forex. So... You could do it with swing trades. You could do it with day trades. Like what I do, um, I pretty much I look at like a like a weekly chart, and then I do like twenty four hour. Like I I want to do like a twenty four hour um, position, right? Not like this. I I just want to do a trade because I know which direction it's going in twenty four hours. And the same way, I just set my support and resistance as my stop loss or my take profit. So you know if I know. You know, you guys know I do the whole thing with the Keltner. If it's at one, I know if it's going to be at one position of the Keltner before it reverses, I do that as my stop loss. Sorry, I do that as my take profit. And if I know it's the opposite way, you know, I just make that my stop loss. So it works, especially long term. I'm not even going to show my, uh, my results from Forex. It's just insane. Uh, but yeah, I don't really care about being flashy. I pay, I paid 40 grand in taxes. You know, I don't have to be flashy. Like I said, my neighborhood, you could Google the median income. It's over a million dollars where I live. I don't have to I don't have to show off trinkets and all that stuff. I don't have to do that. I have no need to. Because at the end of the day, all it does is attract people who want to get rich overnight. I don't have to do any of that shit. So I'm just saying that to say this, man. Real skill set real skill sets are what's gonna last. All that hype shit is here today, it's gone tomorrow. Uh, make sure you guys have a great day. I'm going to be getting back to all my DMs. My, the DMs have just flooded. Um, still doing the underwriting for the business credit. They had their thing where they started slowing down paying people, which was just crazy. Um, but then they started speeding up again. I, I don't know what's going on with that. They, st they slowed down so much in October. But now they're starting to um, get everybody's stuff processed. Thank God. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Pretty good results. Uh, I'll be posting this. But yeah, man, I'm not trying to hype anyone up. The stuff that I did when I first started Binary Options, I took two or three weeks. I did nothing else but study this. And yes, I used demo. There's nothing wrong with using demo. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There's there's no there's no honor in losing all your money but saying, at least I was doing it in a live account. No, practice in demo until it becomes emotionless for you once that happens just like robotic it hits this hits this it hits this boom i'm entering then you can go live and when you go live go live with small amounts all right don't go live with 50 percent of your account balance that's just crazy you know and it's not a casino the stuff can pay you respect the charts the charts will respect you that's all for today ciao